Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial series where we're going to make an animation blueprint for a fox. So to start, I'm using the Polygon Nature Pack by Cinti Studios for the uh, environment, just to uh, give us something nice to look at. And the Polyart Fox by Malbear's Animations on the uh, uh, marketplace. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an animation blueprint for this fox so we can have uh, nice fluid animations using the animations given to us. So this is kind of a good tutorial if you want to learn how to do animation blueprints. And uh, let's start by making a blueprint folder in our Polyart Fox <coughs> uh, folder. And we're going to make a new blueprint, which is going to be a character. And we're going to call it BP Base Fox. We'll just drag him into the world. Now we're going to go into him and make a few basic changes here. Uh, first, we can start with a fox. I don't like that one. We we'll use the fox common with MI no magic. All right, and uh, we're just going to rotate him 90 degrees so he faces forward, and then we're going to change the capsule size because it's a bit big. So we'll do 30, 34 by 34. Now we're just going to move this guy so he's a little bit more centered. So we'll do minus 34 so he's at the bottom, and then we'll just drag him a little bit this way so he's kind of more centered. I guess that works. All right, compile and save. Now we're just going to click this little magnifying glass. We can go to uh, the mesh. Right click the skeleton, create animation blueprint. We're going to call it AnimBP Fox. And we will just move this to the animations folder just so it's a little organized. Blueprints folder works too, I guess, but anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you the simplest way to make movement uh, using this. And then we're going to make it more advanced so that he turns when you move different directions and things like that. So let's start by making the uh, um, a blend space so that he can go idle and then walk and run. So let's start by going to in place, and we're going to find idle. It might be under common, actually. Yeah, it's under common. All right, so we're going to right click. Actually, we'll go to the animation folder, and we'll right click there, and we'll do animation, blend space 1D. And we're going to do fox skeleton, and we're going to call it BS for blend space um, 1D locomotion fox. Kind of spelled that backwards, but whatever. All right, so we'll open this up. Now all we're going to do is put idle at the uh, start, and then we're going to do walk. Make sure we do IP for in place. We'll set that to the middle, so he's going 50 speed. Actually, let's change the speeds a bit. So go to the horizontal axis at the top. We'll rename it speed. And we're going to change the maximum axis to 400, and the minimum axis to 2 is good. So uh, if he's going 100 speed or 200 speed, actually let's change that to 100, which should be good. And then we'll do run as well, run forward, and we'll put that at the end. So as you can see, if you hold shift, you can preview. So when it's no speed, we're at zero, we're idle, and then we walk as we increase, and then we start to run. It does look a bit weird actually when we do the. No, it looks fine actually. Um, another thing we're going to do is the interpolation time. So as you can see, it instantly changes. Uh, if we set this to 0.3, there will be a nice kind of smooth transition, 0.3 seconds, but it's a bit better when it looks this way. So we'll save that, file save all, and uh, we're going to go into our animation blueprint now, and we'll connect our uh, BS uh, 1D locomotion fox here, and this is in the anim graph, which you can get here on the left under graphs. Now we need a speed, so we'll drag off this, promote to variable, and name it speed. <clears throat> now we need to actually set the speed. So let's do go to the event graph, right click, try get pawn owner, cast to fox, and then we're going to promote this to a variable. I'm going to name it fox. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this in, do get, and we're going to right click and do convert to validate get. So what we're going to do here is if it's not valid, we'll do this, and if it is valid, we will get velocity. And I'll explain this in a second, just so uh, and then we're going to do vector length, and we will set speed from that. So just to clarify what this is doing is if we have no fox variable set, if the variable isn't set, we will try to get our pawn owner and then cast it to a fox. If it succeeds, we'll set that as fox. So then from there on, fox will be set, we'll get its velocity, get the vector length of that, and set the speed. Compile and save. And now for some reason our fox has disappeared, so let's probably figure out what's going on there. That's a little weird. What the hell? 
There must be some reason for this, so let's just figure out what's going on. I think it might be... that it's set as additive. Yeah, see, it's set to additive, so that's a mistake. So we'll set that to no additive, save, and then if we go, we have our fox back. Now let's make sure we do that to all of them because we don't want them to be additive. I guess that's a mistake that was left in. <clears throat> so we'll change this to no additive. And run as well. No additive. Now let's see if we can see our fox. Let's increase the speed. Let's do 100. 200, 400, yeah, it looks good now. Pile save, and we have our fox here. Okay, so that should take care of that. Uh, so if we pr now let's uh, make it so that we can control this fox, and uh, just to make it simple, we're gonna go into the base fox, go to class defaults, auto possess player, player zero. So this means that whenever we play this one in the world, we'll just control it. Oh, uh, we do need, you know what, let me show you a trick actually. So we're gonna right click this, create child blueprint class, BP, player fox we'll name this and then we're going to go back into the one that we just changed we're going to undo the setting we just did so scroll down to the bottom here i think yeah undo this compile save and then go back to our player fox and now set it in the player so now if we place a player fox in the world we'll possess it but otherwise it'll be an ai fox so we'll drag a player fox into the world and another thing we can do here is add a spring arm and to our spring arm, we will do use pawn control. Actually, we're going to go over that in a second. Uh, we'll add a camera. Connect the camera to the spring arm. And uh, to the spring arm, we can add some target height just so it's a bit higher. So we'll add 50. And that should be good. Now, we will need some uh, inputs so we can actually move this thing. So let's go to the project settings and go to the inputs. Access mappings. We'll add two move forward, move right, move forward we'll make W, then we'll make S to go backwards, so set that scale to negative 1, and then move right we'll do D, scale 1, A, scale negative 1. Alright, so we've got that now, so let's go into the event graph, do move forward, move right, and now add movement input, control C, control V. Now to get the world directions for move forward, we want to get actor rotation. We're going to change this in a bit, but uh, get actor forward vector, get actor right vector, and compile and save. Now let's see how this looks. We should get our walking, uh, our walking fox. So as you can see, we're idle. We start walking. He runs, yay! Now our controls obviously aren't very good yet, so let's improve the controls. The first thing we're going to do is set the spring arm to use pawn control rotation, keep inherit pitch yaw and roll on, compile, save, go to our character movement, and uh, go down to uh, to the character movement rotation settings. We're going to orient rotation to movement, and we're going to set the rotation rate to 225. So compile, save. So this is going to rotate the thing to face our movement direction. Now what we need to do is we need to add our ability to look. <clears throat> so let's do that. So let's do mouse X and mouse Y. And we're going to do add controller uh, yaw for the X. And then we're going to do times float times float negative 1 for the mouse Y because it's inverted and I don't like that. And we're going to type in pitch off the uh, off of that. I control with pitch and compile save. And now we're going to change these um, uh, forward vectors and right vectors. We're going to do get control rotation and off that we'll do get forward vector get right vector. So this way um, it'll be based off of where we're looking that we'll move. So file save all. And another thing, let's do, um, let's make it so that we can walk and run. So let's change our character movement. Let's change our acceleration to 10, 24. And we'll change our max walk speed to, I think it was 200 we had it set. 
or 100, something like that. Uh, actually, let's check just so we make it look right. Um, so we set it to 100. Let's set that to 200, and then we'll just double our speed for running. So <clears throat> type in left shift. This is back in our player box. Pile save. And we're going to get our character movement, set max walk speed, and we'll set it to, I guess we can do it, um, get max walk speed. And we can do multiply by times two. And then we'll control C, control V that. And um, we'll do control C, control V, we'll do 0.5, we'll multiply it by. So we go half speed, so this will double our speed and then go half speed. And uh, let's try this out. As you can see, we can, oh, it's rotating our characters. So why is that? That is because we forgot to go to our class defaults and uncheck use controller rotation. Yeah. In fact, let's go to our uh, press this button to open the parent. And we'll do it in the parent because we, uh, we want this for all of them. In fact, we should have done that for everything. So let's, uh, just because we'll be making AI in a bit. We want our controls in the player fox, though. So just to clarify that, we have our AI fox, the base fox, and then the player fox, and the player fox has everything relevant to a player, like the spring arm and camera, because we don't need that stuff for AI foxes. All right, so file, save all. And as you can see, we can look around. If we move, we rotate to face that direction, and we're walking. He starts walking based on our speed. Yay, now if we hold left shift, he runs. Yay. Take off left shift, he starts walking again. Good stuff. So that's how to make the basic animation blueprint from the start. Now in the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to go into more advanced features, such as if we look this way and move this way, as you can see, he just kind of rotates and it looks a little weird. We want him to turn his head and look the direction he's going to move. So we're going to add that in the next video. So thanks for watching, and we'll also add um, abilities like jumping, attacking, and AI foxes that follows you, like we could get this fox to follow us and form a little pack. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos.